Barring insta-kills, what is the highest damage that can be dealt in a single attack? Let's go in order of the lowest maximum to the highest maximum per game. To start, in Frontiers, Dante's Silver Bullet deals double damage to werewolf enemies. That's 640 already. A Totem of Weakness increases that damage by 40%. So in total, it deals 896 true damage. Next up, in Vengeance, Ice Cult's Ice Peaks deals 30% of an enemy's max HP as true area damage. The highest HP on any enemy in that game is the Snow Golem, at 3,375 on Impossible. 30% of that is 1,012.5, which can be rounded up to 1,013. I'm just gonna say right now, both of those maxes are lame. But luckily, the next two games are anything but. In Kingdom Rush 1, a max level sniper shot deals 60% of an enemy's max HP as physical damage when the insta-kill fails. The highest HP enemy that can be hit with Sniper Shot is a Forest Troll, which has 4,800 HP on Veteran. So the attack will deal 2,880 physical damage. Endless Mode takes this even further, as Forest Trolls will continue to gain HP exponentially. Technically, this makes for infinite damage, but that's just as valid an answer as an insta-kill itself, so let's put that aside for now. Meanwhile, in Origins, the highest damage in one hit is achievable with none other than Lilith. Soul Eater takes 90% of an enemy's attack stat and adds that to her own attack stat. This buff only applies on melee attacks, which includes Reaper's Harvest. The way it affects Reaper's Harvest is by taking the ratio of the new damage to the old damage and multiplies that by the 330 true damage dealt by Reaper's Harvest normally. Although enemies gain HP infinitely in Endless Mode, they stop gaining damage once they've tripled their original output. The highest damage that an enemy can deal is a Twilight Golem in Endless Mode with 360 to 540 damage. Although Twilight Scorches can buff this further, their buff does not apply to Soul Eater. So, 90% of 360 to 540 is 324 to 486. Add 17 to 25 and you get 341 to 511 damage. This is about 20 times Lilith's original damage. So taking 330 and multiplying it by 20 yields 6,600 true damage in a single attack. But it doesn't stop there. The Horn of Heroism doubles the damage of allied units. So not only does she get 682 to 1,022 damage, making her the first hero to break the quadruple digit threshold for damage in the series, but she also now deals 13,200 true damage with Reaper's Harvest. For the record, an enemy in Endless Mode needs more than 22,000 max HP for Sniper Shot to beat Reaper's Harvest under these conditions. If these numbers don't impress you, you probably have brain damage. <laughs>